Hey everyone, Dom here. In this video, I'm going to cover places in Left 4 Dead 2 that some people may not know exist, as well as show some shortcuts and oddities. I'm going to be going in chronologic order, so I'll be starting off with the first Left 4 Dead 1 campaign, No Mercy. Near the end of the first map of No Mercy, there's a dark passage behind the truck. This passage is longer than directly going towards the map's end, but it may be easier to avoid the alarm car or a witch by taking its way. In the second map of No Mercy, it's possible to get on top of the train by using the trash can. Near the end of this map, rather than entering the pawn shop to go to the safe room, there's an area to the right here. It's pretty pointless. In the third map of No Mercy, there's an area behind the gas station. It can be accessed by climbing the ladder. If the gas station is already blown up, there's instead a ramp to get up here. Here's just a simple alternate path. Rather than fall down the hole, it's possible to enter the room by running along the pipes. Here's a fun one. No one ever knows this room exists. In the underground area, where you could go down the front or right manhole, if you fall the left wall, there's a survivor respawn room. In the fourth map, this floodlight can be knocked over. When you load into the next map, it'll be upright again. In the fifth and final map of No Mercy, there's a simple alternate path through the elevator shaft rather than taking the grate. On the top of the roof, there's this side path down. Here are some glitchy areas to stand on for the finale of the map. Standing on the mounted gun is buggy. Common Infected can't navigate to you if you stand on top of it, so it's a good idea to hop on if you get boomed on. Here's a questionable area to hold out on. Lastly, here's a fun glitch that'll make people think you're a hacker in versus mode. To do this glitch is super simple. All that's needed is to hold down the jump key and quickly click the use key twice. Depending on what side you're standing on, you'll be flung in the opposite direction. Moving on to the next campaign, first map of Crash Course, the first area has this out of the way room on the right. Here's the steam easter egg. Huh. Check this out. Hey, watch out for that goddamn steam pipe. Man, I love steam. Yeah, steam's alright, I guess. In this area, it's possible to stand on top of the car and the train. The only real use I can think of for this is to back up if there's a tank. It's worth noting that if you get encapped while up here, bots can't navigate to you and help you out. Here's just a simple side area that's often overlooked. After the bridge, near the end of the map, there's this area to the left here. Canada? Pills here. Francis, we're in Pennsylvania. Oh my god, I hate Canada so much. At the beginning of the second and final map of Crash Course, there's this overlooked room on the left. Here's just a tip. The grill of most trucks can be climbed, as weird as that seems. Here's another simple side path. It just skips going through a metal container. Here's just a few jumps that are only possible with green health. Powering it up! 
Powering it up. 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 This will just take a second. Powering it up. Powering it up. Powering it. Seriously? No. Moving on to the next campaign, the first map of Death Toll. There's a ladder on the left side of the bridge. I can't explain how often people overlook this. On the third map of Death Toll, there's a small supply area to the left of the watchtower. Just after the drop, there's a small shack on the left. Ammo piles and pistols can spawn in it. Oh yeah, people assume this is a one-way, but there's actually a ladder on the side of the train. At this point, people always follow the road, while the fastest path is to cut through the forest. One tank later! As I was saying, the fastest path is to cut through the forest. In the church at the end of the map, it's possible to press keys on the piano. On the fourth map, at the running event, rather than going the regular way, it may be a good idea to go to the right in this alley, as an M60 often spawns here. Near the safe room, there's this pointless area under the stairs. Moving on to the next campaign, Dead Air. On the first map, here's just a fun jump to make between buildings. Reloading. Reloading. People probably know this area exists, but never go here. In the second map of Dead Air, there's a door here that doesn't appear in versus mode. Near the end of this map, there's a second exit to the building that takes the back alleys. It's longer and more dangerous as there's an alarm car at the end of it, so there's really no point to take this route. In the fourth map of Dead Air, there's an alternate way down the stairs. This luggage chute. Here's another small easter egg. Reloading. I wonder if this is more lost luggage than normal. Look out! Here's just a bunch of side areas that people ignore because of the running to the safe room event. On the fifth and final map of Dead Air, here's the plane crash. It's just fun to watch. Reloading. Holy shit! Here's the weird random pointless concrete room with double doors. Bet you can't say that five times fast. I don't think this would ever exist in real life. Perhaps it has a purpose, as there's a hole in the ceiling, but what could it be? If anyone knows the real life purpose of this room, please post in the comments. Now for the next campaign, Blood Harvest. On the second map, a ladder can be skipped by running along some pipes. On the fourth map of Blood Harvest, there's an area behind this building. Well, that charger ran off to his death. On the fifth and final map of Blood Harvest, here's the most simple way to navigate the cornfield. Simply run forward and turn right at the tractor.
I... I don't think refrigerators work this way. By standing here, in this spot, common infected can't navigate to you. Now for the last Left 4 Dead 1 campaign. The Sacrifice. On the first map, it's possible to jump on top of this boat. And there's a room back here. Why walk around when you can jump over? Here's just some jumping on stuff. This building has a ladder on the side. Why walk around? This is just a small shortcut. This respawn closet breaks some of the rules of the game, as it can hold useful supplies, whereas normally, respawn closets have nothing. There's a bit of an oversight here. Take note of the brick wall. Now look at the difference after the transition to the next map. Well, that was fun. Watch part 2 for the other half of this video where I cover the Left 4 Dead 2 campaign. Please say in the comments if I missed anything. As always, thanks for watching. Like, fave, and subscribe. Au revoir.